Hello everyone, Crazy Kari here, and after those two videos I did on the Crash Bandicoot zines, it's time I do one on Spyro. This is the first Spyro zine made, coming in time to celebrate the 20th anniversary, and in the hype of a remaster being announced. Let's hope for this E3, let's hope. Actually, just recently, Dreamweaver zine, another Spyro-themed zine, has been announced and is accepting submissions currently. I'll be leaving a link to it in the description. While Dreamweaver zine is dedicated to the entire franchise, this one, Dragon Shore zine, is dedicated to the original trilogy created by Insomniac Games. Hopefully they can get some copies sent over to Ted Price, Mark Cerny, and the rest of the original crew. With Sunset Vista zine, some copies were given to Vicarious Visions and the voice actor of Neo Cortex, who absolutely loved it. It's really great to show the creators how much these games mean to us. Anyways, here we are. I was dying for this to arrive in the mail. People have been posting pictures of this for about a month, and I was just waiting for a purple mail bubble to arrive. I've been excited to check my mail every day for the last few weeks. I ordered the super bonus round pack. Shouldn't be a surprise to anyone, honestly. If there's Spyro custom merchandise available, I'll buy it. I have an actual issue. <laughs> this expansion pack includes... A sticker sheet with artwork by various artists. Four buttons, which I do like that they made some of the Spyro 2 flags. That was a nice choice. They don't scream Spyro and are a bit more obscure. I feel like real fans of Spyro would get excited about seeing this on a backpack or a shirt, which I put some of my buttons on. Also included is a double-sided acrylic charm with artwork done by Kiwi Bond, which this was a whole lot smaller than I was expecting, but hey, it's Spyro. I'm not going to complain. And lastly, I got the postcard set. I wouldn't actually call these postcards as they're more like mini prints. Postcards usually have writing lines and a place stamp here template on the other side, but I'm personally fine with mini prints. I wouldn't want to write on the back and dent the artwork anyways. And yes, I was so excited when I saw the postcard of George. This is the best. George goes so underappreciated in this community. Bless this little ice ice baby. They are very glossy and nice quality. I wish I could have gotten them signed by the actual artist, but it's a bit difficult when it's organized in a group effort like this, but it's fine. I always ask artists to sign them, makes the prints more special, you know? The pre-order for this zine was through November 22nd through December 25th, Christmas Day. And let me know if any of you got the holographic sticker set. I'm not sure if they actually reached their goal on that. I saw they posted about those on Twitter. I've been seeing so many people also got this super bonus round pack. So cool to see people who are interested in the other items and not just the book, because the extras are really great. I, I love these. I'm going to use the Spyro charm on a necklace. It came with a phone charm strap, but I don't really use phone charms personally. If you didn't order the zine in time, Look out for when they're opening orders for these again. They said first come, first serve. With these zines, you have to order them pretty quickly usually. Once they're gone, they're gone. Sorry to say, but a few days after my Sunset Vista zine video, it sold out, and I doubt that will ever be restocked again. This project was organized by Haunted Cosmos Press, and this was their first publication. Their next one will be revealed in March. They are a US-based company, and their mascot is some crystally space skeleton-looking thing. Pretty original to me. I'm really not sure what their next publication is going to be themed on, but I'm looking forward to seeing what it is. If you still miss out on this, though, the PDF file is still an option. It's $5 USD. One thing I really like that they did is in between the time waited for the physical zine to arrive, on their official pages they were posting interviews with the artists who took part in the zine, with questions such as, has Spyro influenced your style in any way, and asking about their favorites from the series. Reading their responses were interesting. For example, one of the artists, Painty Art, who did the Skelos Badlands artwork, who I have a Spyro enamel pin that I wear on my Spyro hat, and I'm super excited for the glittery Spyro ring pop acrylic charm to arrive. I ordered it right away. And it's pretty big in size, too. Custom merchandise like this is only so limited, so they sell out fast, so sometimes you gotta be quick. Free promotion, you should totally get this. The zine's profits went to Fred Hutchinson's cancer research, and a total of $1,085.65 was made, and the final count was rounded to $1,100. 
Even if I wasn't able to make it into the zine, I'm still glad that I've supported it and helped in a way, and making this video can help the word get out. I asked the team if I could make a video on this, and they said they were excited to see it and would share it, so I'm looking forward to that. I always like to get permission first, just in case. Well, that's pretty much it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed checking this out with me. Consider getting a copy for yourself, and I hope to see you again for Dreamweaver's scene. See ya!